Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Mark, dear boy. <laughs> Laurie. <laughs> We've been pals since, oh, the early 90s. Yes. Maybe 91, 92. I think it must be. Probably so 91. In my head, I'm thinking 25 years. My God, where's that gone? Yeah, where's it gone? Did I really meet you when I was just two years old? <laughs> yeah. But I remember last Christmas making contact with you. Yes. And, and telling you about the Blakey tapes that we discovered yeah. we and and we'd done some work on it on the recording and got it up and running mm -hmm. everything was looking fine and dandy but we needed to do a video unfortunately our artist an actor named Stephen Lewis who was the original Blakey on the on the buses series had passed away he passed away two years ago and so we were thinking who can we get and I thought, yeah, Mark Reynolds, he'll do Blakey. So I rang you up. Can you remember your I reaction? I remember. Yeah, I remember saying to you, I look nothing like him <laughs> <laughs> at all. But that is where your acting skills come in, because I knew immediately that when we dressed you as Blakey, mm. you would come alive and be Blakey. And I have to say, hand on heart, well done. Thank because you. Because on that video. You are Blakey. Some magic happened when I put the kit on, when I put the hat on and the Well, I saw, I saw the magic happen when we were <laughs> at, at the museum, at the Transport Museum. But, I mean, I'm not an actor, and I don't know where the skills come from, but I watched David Jason the other night on the television, and he was talking about how he gets into certain characters that mm. he portrays. Mm -hmm. Did you have any, any tricks up your sleeve? Well, for me, you it was, about for me, Blakey? it's always the voice, hearing the voice. Yeah. Listen to the voice. But the movements as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had a, a strong memory of Blakey. Hands up, I never watched any um, On the Buses episodes. Oh, didn't you? No, I'd seen loads and I remembered him very well. And I, mem I remember the things he used to do. Yeah. Because I've always been a fan of classic British comedy. Yeah. And you just, they're in your head. Well, as a matter of fact, that's why I thought of you, because all those years ago, you used to be any... any you, those things would always come into the conversation. That's right, yeah. yeah I've yeah. always loved that kind yeah. of thing. And you just remember them. Yeah. The, yeah. They remember the way they... The they, British they, Yeah, the, the way they hold their faces, the way they stand. Well, there was a certain piece in our video. Yeah. And I can pinpoint it to when Santa comes into the scenario. Yes. <laughs> and we're all dancing around singing It's Christmas and you're looking like daggers at us. Yes. Because you're yes. hating every minute. And then Santa appears to your right. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you did this intentional, but it was pure Blakey. <laughs> because your eye line moved. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. or, I remember taking Santa in. Thinking, yes, oh, you know. that's right. Yeah. Oh, no, it's him. You know, yeah, kind of yeah. Thing. And I thought it was a was magic a moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's Santa. That, so was the, it, that was the thought process. Yeah, I, I thought that was terrific. So Thank well you. done. Thank you, you have a history with Michael Robbins, don't you? Yes, who played Arthur. In Arthur. on the buses, yeah. Olive's um, Olive's husband. He was the first actor I worked with on radio in BBC uh, Light Entertainment back once again in the early nineties. Yeah, yeah. And he kind of mentored me for the time I worked with him. He taught me a lot of stuff. Oh, good. And was, told was me he some a, great stories. Yeah. He was lovely. He was very supportive of a young actor starting off yeah. in voice work, uh -huh. and he was very supportive. He was a lovely, lovely guy, full of funny stories. And of course, he knew so many people. Yeah. I wish now I'd recorded the interviews that we'd had. Oh, well, and the things he, he told me, the he was brilliant. Would have loved that, he was so they? funny, yeah. Because yeah. he was—he was Olive's husband, yes. wasn't he? Yes, he was a terrific actor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, if there's a if there's a buzz depot in the sky, yes, I'm sure Stephen Lewis is looking down and very pleased. I hope so. I hope I hope you know that what I did was an affectionate tribute to him. It was, it was. Well done. Thank you. I'll get you back there. That's how you do it, eh? Yeah, you're doing a lot of that and you're back into it, are you? I haven't even got my hat. <laughs> Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. You see if I don't, I'll get you. <laughs> you're laughing on me, Trent, oh, No, I can't help it. It's so funny. <laughs> I'll get you, Laurie. You see if I don't, I'll get you. <laughs>